Hello dear audience, welcome to the Advanced English Center. This is the new lesson for you where I will teach you new vocabs along with the sentences. And this lesson will teach you how to learn vocabs. And if you want to score high in your IELTS exam or any other competitive exam, you must follow this lesson because this is authentic and this is really uh, like an extraordinary way how, how to learn vocabs. Because actually there are other methods that you will find quite easy but you will never remember that th this kind of I mean those kind of methods. So this is the method actually that will truly help you even if it is difficult to learn but when you are able to learn you will find that actually you are scoring very high wherever you go like you can speak spontaneously and like people will accept your speaking quite easily or people actually will be uh, will baffle when they don't understand you because you have the capability to use new vocabs in your conversation and you will be accepted at, uh, by the people in a different way so that's the reason actually i think that you should follow it and if you want to score high in your else exam actually this is a very effective and very actually fruitful method that you can practice so i think without further ado we should continue so look at the first one the first one is i have never lost my result to achieve something i have never lost my result to achieve something so result means a strong determination result means what is strong determination so i've never lost my result to achieve something so a lot of students would ask me that sir we actually know the meaning of result result means like solve for example like this is the this is a very difficult matter and it is hard to resolve so in that case actually result means you know like a solve but here actually it is noun so here it means a strong determination for example let me give you one more example like i have never lost my i, I will i will i will never uh, i mean lose my actually you know like a determ i mean uh, resolve even if i fail thousand times I will never lose my result even if I fail thousand times. So this is another example. Result when it is noun actually it means a strong determination. So I hope that you have got the idea. Go for the second one. The second one is he is a computer whiz. He is a computer whiz. He is a computer whiz. So most of the students actually ask me that we have seen that actually it has uh, it has another spelling that is W H I Z. So that's also correct actually and i mean that one is american and this one is like a british this one is british so w h i double z this one is british so actually british people write this way and then the american people actually write uh, that way like w h i z so both of them are correct so actually don't worry you can write either of them so he is a computer whiz a person who is good at something a person who is good at something so he is a computer whiz means he is uh, like he, he is a person who is good at computer so i hope that you have got the word so now it is crystal clear to you go for the third one the third one is my friend is a computer nerd my friend is a computer nerd the person actually uh, who who is busy with the computer and I think who is uh, like also it means like a, who is interested in computer so actually if I say that uh, my friend is a computer nerd it means that he has interest in computer so my friend is a computer nerd means that my friend has an interest in computer so I hope that you have got it so go for the fourth one the fourth one is she look thoroughly ratchet ratchet she look thoroughly ratchet ratchet means uh, like feeling ill sick or you know unhappy feeling ill or sick or unhappy so she looked thoroughly ratchet so you can say that actually uh, today actually maybe you can you can say that uh, today actually I look beat uh, you know I look beat I mean I look a uh, bit like a ratchet I be I, I look bit ratchet so that you have got the word ratchet means feeling ill sick or unhappy ratchet means what ratchet means feeling ill sick or unhappy and this is the last one the last one is the roads are awash with trash the roads are awash with trash so awash means covered with something awash a word I mean awash means covered with something so the roads are awash with trash so it means that the roads are covered with trash so i think that you have got the awash so i hope that actually you have you, you have got the lesson you know very handy 
and i hope that actually you have understood what i'm trying to say that if you actually follow this method you are going to learn english very easily although it will take time but one day you will find that actually you are learning english in a proper way so i think actually let me paraphrase it one more time uh, for you uh, the first one is i have never lost my result to achieve something result means a strong determination the second one is he's a computer who is a person who is good at something the third one is my friend is a computer nerd a person who is interested in computer and the fourth one is she looked thoroughly ratchet ratchet means feeling sick uh, feeling ill sick or unhappy and the fifth one is the roads are awash with uh, trash so covered with something so these are the uh, i mean <clears throat> these are the today's lesson i hope that you have enjoyed it a lot and if you really like like it so uh, don't forget to subscribe and actually uh, drop likes as well as like share it to the other peoples whom you think that uh, can benefit from my video thank you so much for watching bye bye see you another time bye bye